Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lisa Cotter and today we're going through my complete coloured pencil collection part two. Now I do apologise in advance of having to actually part them into two parts. Um, I actually recorded the videos last night and a lot of the files became corrupted when I went to download them to cloud. So um, I'm having to actually tape the parts that got corrupted now. So I hope um, that's okay. But let's get started. Um, again, this may be a long video. I do apologize. So the first ones we're going to actually look through is my first Derwent um, pencil case. So this has a few different sets by Derwent. Um, now... These ones here are the Derwent Color Softs. Now, this set here, I don't actually use them um, for coloring books or anything. These are actually used for wood slices. In my main Derwent pencil case, you'll actually see the full set of these. But this is just the smaller set. So I do use these for wood slice art. Um, so I'll discuss them later. Um, so in this, we have the Derwent Drawing Pencils. Now, if you actually watched my um, haul recently, I purchased the, draw, um, the Derwent Drawing Pencils. Now, these are more natural colours. They're a beautiful pencil by Derwent. Um, I really like the natural colours in this set. And I wish they had more colours because it's really lovely. Now, there's only 24 in this set, but they're really nice. So let's take a look at one of them. And, of course, this is like an orangey brown. It says Derwent Drawing England, of course. It says Brown Ochre and the number. And the end is dipped. Now, again, it has a good weight in the pencil. Um, they're really lovely. I really like this one. Now, the white in this set is beautiful. Um, really nice white, that one. So let's have a look at the swatch chart for that one. So this is the swatch chart to the Derwent Drawing Pencils. Now, again, as I said, these are very natural colours. So um, fantastic for if you're doing scenery or something like that. But they really are a lovely pencil. I really like this colour here. Um, it's really nice. So they're one of my newest purchases. Um, I definitely replace them because I really like them. But I don't need to anytime soon. So that was the Derwent Drawing Pencils. Now, this is my original Chromaflows, um, Derwent Chromaflows. This is the smaller set that it originally came out with. In my main set, you'll actually see the full set of these. So we'll discuss that one in a minute. <laughs> now, these pencils here are the Derwent Studio pencils. Now, I cannot remember when I got these. These are years old. Um, now, my children actually, or one of my children got into drawing. So he was actually using them. And um, so a lot of the blues are missing. Um, so I don't have the full set. Now this is a very hard pencil. I'm guessing it's more for students, these pencils. They're one of the more cheaper lines by Derwent. Um, but they're rather nice. Um, very hard so of course this one has more of a um, ridges in the actual wood here um, it says England Derwent Studio and this is pink matter and of course you've got the color here and um, that there so I'm not sure if it's still this shape or if they look the same um, I can't really remember when I got them at all 
but um, I have used them in a Johanna book and you couldn't really layer very much with them. Um, but it wasn't bad. So this is the colours I have. Um, it's, again, as I said, it's not a full set. So I've only got that little one there as my blue, <laughs> um, which is a nice blue. <laughs> um, but that's those there. So there's Derwent Studio. And... The last ones I've got are, these are my original Derwent Artist Pencils. In If you watched my first video, you'd notice I have them in the box set. So this is the ones I sort of use more at the moment. It isn't the full set. I've had these for quite a long time now as well. But that's those ones. So that's my first Derwent pencil case. And then I'll grab the next one so this is my main derwent pencil case all my main derwent products live in this case here so let's take a look so this here is the derwent light fast now i purchased i started off um with a smaller set um, because i wanted to try them out knowing that they were light fast um, and over that time, over two and a half years, I purchased them open stock. Um, Colt Pens had a huge sale, and so I got these for quite cheap compared to how much you can actually get them here in Australia. So these are the Derwent Lightfast. Now, I really love how they look. Um, they have that wood finish with the dipped end really nice colors i'm not sure if you can see there it's a bit hard isn't it <laughs> um, lots of colors here it goes from there there to there and there so it did take me quite a while and again another pencil set that i do use more or less um, i have used them in coloring books but i do tend to I've sort of purchased these for artwork more than anything that I can put on the wall. So this is how they look. They come with this wood finish, which is really lovely. Um, it says, made in Britain, Derwent Lightfast. And then that has the name and number. And it has the Lightfast rating there. And this has the dipped end and that wave that all the Derwents have. But I just love how these feel in your hand. They're a really lovely pencil. I'm really, um, I really like them. So let's take a look at the swatch charts. Now I have swatched them on two pages. Um, so this is, if you can see there, the complete swatch chart of them all. Um, really nice colors and again this is a brand that you can trust when they say that they're light fast so there's more details on the Derwent website I'm sure about the, the light fast rating of their pencils um, but this is one brand you can trust um, especially since they're called Derwent light fast <laughs> so they're really nice I really like these so the next set of pencils here are the Derwent Chroma Flows. So I purchased these last year um, and when they first came out in the bigger set, I do have the smaller set, which you just saw before, <laughs> but um, I haven't had a big chance to use them a lot, but these are rather nice. Now they have a nice color range. Um, there is 72 in this set, I believe. And it goes from here to here and then to here. Now, these are a wax-based pencil. Um, I feel in a way they're trying to be similar to your Prismacolors. Um, they feel a bit different. Um, they're not as waxy as Prismacolors, um, but they do blend really nice. They feel really skinny. <laughs> compared to their normal ones. I'm not sure if it's just me, but they do feel a lot lighter and skinnier in your hand. I'm just, I'm not sure. Um, but as I said, I haven't 
use these a lot. I have used this one quite a bit, but I haven't used these a lot. So, um, anyway, let's have a look. So, they say Made in Britain, Derwent Chroma Flow, and it has the name and number. And, of course, the dipped end and the wave again. But, yeah, these do feel more made for the American market, I believe. I could be wrong. But let's take a look at the swatch chart. So this is a swatch chart to these ones. Um, they're not a bad pencil at all. I think they're a bit pricey for what they are. Um, I'm glad I've got them, but they are very pricey. Um, so these are them there. So they are wax based, as I said. Now, these are my Derwent Colour Softs. Now, I got the smaller set and then um, I, I use them for my wood slice art and I really do like them a lot. So I decided to get the bigger set and it came with all of these. <laughs> and um, these are a wax paste pencil. They are can be slightly dusty. They are cheaper than your Chroma Flows here. But I really, really like these pencils. Um, there is one pencil that I really love. <laughs> if I can find it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like these pencils. So this is all the colour range here. And then all along here. And this is one of my favourite colours in the set which is grey green. I love this pencil. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Um, so this says, of course, your Derwent Colour Softs and um, the name and number. And then it has the dipped end and the wave. But these are a wax-based pencil. They can be slightly dusty. Um, I haven't had any break issues with them. Um, so let's have a look at the swatch chart for them. And that's those there. Nice colour range. Um, as I said, I love that colour there. <laughs> that is one of my favourite colours out of this set. Um, but really nice set of pencils. Now, last but not least with my Derwent's are uh, the Derwent Pro Colours. Now, when I purchased the Colour Softs, I was given a free tin of the Derwent um, pro colors as a gift it was christmas time so they gave them to me as a gift now this is the 24 set i'm unsure if there is a bigger set now i have only used these for artwork um they are a harder pencil uh really layering pencil um the color is really nice um with this set of pencils but i have not tried them in a coloring book so as you can see, that's the colours in that set. Um, but I definitely don't think I need any more colours. <laughs> so these ones say Made in Britain, Derwent Pro Colour. And it says Crimson Lake 14. And then it has the dipped end and the wave. Now, as I said, these are a hard pencil. Um, so lots of layering to gain that, that colour. Um, now, I do have a swatch chart of them, but as I said, I've only used them um, for artwork. So, this um, is the swatch chart. Nice range of colours. I really like this one and this one here. They work really nice together. Um, I would have liked maybe a paler green more in that colour than something like that because there's no real green to go with that one, if you know what I mean. But it's quite nice. It was a 24 set and I can't complain because I got them for free. So that was the Derwent Pro Colours. So my next set of pencils are my Colours. Now I will admit this was a bit of an impulse buy. And I need to buy a bigger case for them. Now this came up as a spot sale on Amazon. And I got these for $40. There is 240 in this set, so there is a lot of pencils. Now, I believe these are made by Brute Funa. So, all of them, and all of those, 
a whole row of purples, which is nice. And all these blues. Going into the blue, then the blue greens and the greens. Lots of greens in this set. Then you have all these and browns and then you have um, your greys. Now there is metallics and neons in this set as well. Now we'll take a look at one before we look at the swatch chart and it has your colour name. It has the colour number and it says Calore. It has the double um, row there as well as a dipped end. Now it does have stars here which could mean light fast rating but on a budget pencil like this um, I wouldn't really trust that one. <laughs> so these pencils um, will pretty much be used for when I want to colour in with the kids because they're so many pencils here and um, the kids can have use of these as well but there's a couple of colors here that I definitely like the look of so let's have a look at the swatch charts so again this is their swatch chart that comes with it now the tin came crushed thankfully no pencils were crushed but the tin was crushed when I got it and it was such a pretty tin I would have used it to put things in so these are all the blues and then going into these. Oh, first off, sorry. <laughs> this is the first page here. Going into that one. Then going into that one. <laughs> so big switch chart. <laughs> Can't fit it all on one screen. Um, and these ones are the neons and there's the metallics. Now, the metallics aren't very shiny. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but they're not really shiny at all. Um, and the neons are not bad. There's a lot of neons there, but I don't use neons or metallics, so it doesn't bother me. But really huge range of colours. Um, they are a budget pencil. As I said, I did get them on a spot sale for $40. Um, so they're the claws. So now we move into this case here. So this has my Brute Funa Square colour pencils in. So the first ones we're going to look at is the Brute Funa Squares. Now these have to be one of my favourite sets of um, budget pencils. Now these are an oil based pencil, so more of a layering pencil. They are square in shape and as I said, they're one of my favourites. Um, if you cannot afford Polychromos, this is the set I would actually get. Now, these can be purchased on Amazon, but I got mine on AliExpress. And I do have a backup set of these. Um, on AliExpress, I got these for about $50 for the full 120 pencils. Now, as I said, they are budget pencils and they are square in shape. So you get all these colours here. Going into all these. And then your greens and your browns. And then all these greys and, of course, gold and silver. They're a very nice pencil. Now, they are square in shape. And as I said, they were or are um, budget. So they do have a pencil number. And the name is here, but it's written in Chinese. And I cannot understand what that says. So, um, they are square. Now, my dull 133 has no problem sharpening them. They are a harder pencil, so better for layering, but they go really well on Johanna Buzzford books. Um, I really enjoy these. Um, and as I said, on AliExpress, they are a lot cheaper than um, on Amazon for Australians anyway. And they come packed really, really well. And I really like the colour range. So let's take a look at the swatch chart. So this is a swatch chart here. Um, beautiful range of colours. I really, really like them. 
And again, as I said, they go really well on Johanna Buzzford's books. So um, this set here is another one that I would repurchase if I ran out. And this is another pencil I would um, say if you're a beginner and you want to try an oil-based pencil, these would be the ones. So that's them. They're the Brute Fina Squares. And then I also got the Brute Funa Macarons. Now, these I got for about $25 to $26 when they first came out. Now, I do not have a backup set. Now, these pretty much match your whole bane in pastel colours. They are nothing like whole bane um, wax-wise, but they match in colour. So these are very budget friendly. They sit, they look similar to whole bones. They, um, the color range is really basically the same as well. Um, I really like these, especially for a budget pencil. Um, so they basically say your brute funa um, here as well, and then it has the name and number. So they're a nice pencil, and if you want to try how the whole bang colours are, or a pencil that's similar and can't afford the whole bangs, these are the set I would get. So this is a swatch chart of all of them, um, really beautiful range of colours. So my next set of pencils are the Marco coloured pencils. Now these are the pastel ones. These are the 9100s. Now these are the budget ones. Now I paid under $10 for these on AliExpress. Um, so let's take a look at them. Now they haven't got a bigger set, like a big set like the actual macaroons there. But this is a nice set. So there's 24 in this set. And it basically has 9100 and then coloured pencil and Marco. Now it isn't numbered, um, but they are very nice. It's hexagon shape. Um, they're a nice pencil, again, budget friendly. So let's take a look at the swatch chart here. So this is the actual swatch chart to these, and um, they lay down on paper really well. So these are a wax based pencil. So my next set of pencils are the Marco C800s, and um, these are purchased again on AliExpress. Now these are a wax-based pencil. They're square shaped. So they're not an oil pencil, but they are square shaped. And they're 48 colors in this set. So it's basically it says square C800 Marco. And then the color name and the number here. They are a very nice pencil and I really do like them. Um, I have used them quite a bit, these pencils, and they haven't gone down. Um, so they're for all these colours here. And up to here. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, they are a really nice set of pencils. Again, budget friendly, these ones. I can't remember the full price I paid for these. So that's the colours there. But again, lovely set of pencils, um, but very budget. And again, these can be found on AliExpress. So then the last set in this case anyway, is the Marcos 820s. So these are another pastel set done by Marco. Um, and all these colors here. So there's 24 in this set again. Um, these are to go sort similar to go with these. So these are square shaped. Um, they basically have the color name, the number of the color, and it says square C820s and Marcos. And they're square shaped. So these aren't as um, big as your brute funa squares. But again, budget, there's not, um, they're not very expensive at all. And this is the swatch chart to these ones. 
but I really like these too. And again, these are wax based, but I really like them. Now we're going to look at my Artezas. So these are one of the first sets I got and um, these were very cheap. When I actually purchased them, the prices have gone sky high now. This is only the 72 set, um, but they're a nice pencil. They're a wax based pencil. And um, as I said, the prices have gone sky high on these. I'm not sure why. Um, so there's a wax based pencil. So with this set of 72, you get all of these up to here and up to here. Now these do remind me very much of the Artex colour pencils. Um, they are a wax based pencil. They're more similar to probably your Prismacolor than the Artex. But they are a really nice pencil. I do like them. And I did want to try the 120, but they're just far too expensive. So let's take a look at one. So this is one here. This has the name of the pencil, which this is the Robin, Robin Egg Blue. It has the number and it has two stars, which is meant to be the light fast rating here, which again, it's a budget pencil. So um, I'm not sure on that at all. So it has two lines here going, or going around the barrel and it's dipped at the end. So that's those there. But um, they may be cheaper, these pencils, overseas. But over in Australia, they're very expensive. So here's the swatch chart to these. Now, I know I should use these more because there is a nice colour range in this set. Um, this 72 set is really well thought out. So I do like them. Um, they're rather nice. So they're the Arteza Experts 72 set. So my next set of pencils are my Kmart set of pencils. So these are the Kmart pastels. Um, these are my one of my cheap sets. They cost $4 for 12 pencils. Now this set of pencils does not have a name or number. <laughs> um, so they're just the barrel and they're not bad at all. So this is how the tin looked. Look how beautiful that tin is. So this is my spare set. The last time I actually went to Kmart um, Australia and was looking around their stationery and their art and craft products, I couldn't see these anymore. So I'm not sure if they've been phased out, but I got these two years ago and they were only $4 back then. Um, they're a really nice set of pencils. Now I have used them in Johanna Basford's world of flowers and they're not bad especially for four dollars <laughs> you can't buy much for four dollars so this is the kmart pastel pencils and i really love this color here it's a really pretty blue that one so that's them there so my next set of pencils is the fourth ever set of pencils i purchased now, these are the Jane Davenport Magic Wand Colour Pencils. And these were purchased when I first started colouring. Now, I really love the colour range. So the colour range goes from about there to there. So it's not a huge set. There is 24 in the set. The colour names are really funny, as you'll see in a minute. Um, but these pencils are break. And when I say break... They break even with my dial 133. And I know people complain about Prismacolors breaking, but these are terrible for breakage. Um, I would use them more if they didn't break. Now, these colors here are, are short, not from use, from breakage. Um, it was a real letdown to me because these were not cheap. So let's take a look at one and hopefully it doesn't break. <laughs> Um, so this says Jane Davenport and it has the colour name there, which is really funny. And they open here and of course you can see that there, but these are a wax-based pencil. 
and this is the swatch chart to them. And as I said, I really do like the colour range, but they do break. Um, and I haven't used them much due to the breakage issue because it's just not a fun experience <laughs> using them. But I love the names. There's like Buzzy or um, Mermaid, Emerald, Jiminy. <laughs> so they're funny names. And if they could fix the breakage issues, these would be a real joy to use. But no, due to the break issues, they're not fun at all. <laughs> so my next set of pencils are the Tombow Irrigitans. Now, this set I have put in here, there is 100 in this set. And there's all them there and there. Now, they're a very pretty looking pencil. And they originally come in these little book-like chapters. So um, every, if I bring this out, it comes with a pamphlet, of course, and which tells you the swatch charts of the pencils in the sets. And then the little booklets holders like this. But due to Lily loving to get into things, I've put them in a pencil case. It's just safer that way. So the holders are really unique and I really love that, the idea of the holders, but with little toddlers running around, having them in a case is just so much safer. So they are a very pretty pencil, I must say. They are probably one of the prettiest, I think, that I've got. Um, if we take a look at them, they have this white barrel and the dipped coloured end there. And the writing is in metallic silver. And it says Irigen there um, and Tombow. And they do have a colour number as well as the colour name. But they are very pretty pencil. But they are very hard, um, which I didn't realise when I first got them. But I've definitely learnt my lesson with these ones. But the colour range is so pretty. So this is them there. Now, I did get these for Christmas. Um, I really wanted to try them out and I love all the pastels. Um, that's what really drew me in, the pastel colours in this set. But, and all these greens. So this is those there. Now you can purchase, when you purchase, um, you can't purchase the whole set, I don't believe, in one tin or a holder like this. You actually purchase them in little sets like this. And they come with 30 colours. Now um, there is three of these, which I have all three. And then the 10 colours that are left over, um, you purchase open stock. So they are available open stock, these pencils. But that's them there. Last pencil case. So these are the Spectrum Noir coloured pencils. So these are the Spectrum Noirs. Huge colour range. Now they do come in little 24 sets only. So similar to how the Black Widows have smaller sets and you collect those sets are how these are. So these are the colours here. Leading into your blacks and greys. Now, with these pencils, they are a wax-based pencil. So I'm going to take one out to have a look. Now, the pencil says Spectrum colour blend and this one's the peach one and it has a dipped end now these can be somewhat dusty but i honestly have not had um, a problem with them um, they're rather nice so now there there is multiple swatch charts here as you can see so we'll go through the swatch charts so as i said they do come in these little sets so this one's the essentials that's the colours in the essentials. This is the shade and blend colours. These are the natural colours. 
I love that duck egg one. And then here's your primaries. And here's your florals. Really nice pinks in this set. And that tangerine and those really would go well together. But they're a really nice pencil. But those are the Spectrum Noir colour pencils. So that's my full coloured pencil collection. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I know that it went on rather long. So thank you so much if you've gotten to this point. Thank you for watching. If you liked my video, why not press like and subscribe and come back soon to watch more videos. Thanks again. Bye.